I just hate to say it all to nothing I do nothing Life's so call and make y'all it I just hate to say it all to nothing I do nothing Life's so call and make y'all it To be honest, I'm feeling really sh** Taking its toll on my mental health As it as yours, babes, isn't it? Yeah, of course <laughs> No, it's not good I feel in yeah, completely understandable. So my first question is, what made you first start TikTok and did you receive hate from the start? I joined TikTok around three years ago during lockdown. I didn't have any expectations of becoming famous. Boring. At that point, all I did was post a video of myself eating Nestle gluten-free cornflakes, which is my favorite cereal, which went viral. And I received one. 135,000 views and people started calling me the serial king. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! I was doing workouts to help with my mental health but wasn't feeling any benefits. I saw a doctor on TV who said the best remedy for mental health was to dance. He was right as I started dancing everywhere. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Including inside Tesco's with my dad. Are you stupid or something? I began dancing outside whilst making videos and going live on TikTok. People outside would cheer me on, take pictures and follow me on TikTok. By the time I'd reached around 5,000 followers, trolls began calling me names such as Spice Head. This was because my eyes would go red due to the burning pain in my head. An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Jack Ramsey. Um, this really didn't bother me at first. But I did have the slogan, didn't I? HMMG. Haters make me greater. Stupid idiot. Stupid idiot. Stupid idiot! So it appears that most people in the public eye will receive some level of hate or trolling. But apart from the Spicehead comments when you first started, what else happened that you believe started a lot of this hate? My following was going up, so I was bound to get some horrible comments. But I was accused of posting a video of a child using inappropriate music, which I didn't do. The person who accused me had reported me to the police for harassment, which was also not true, and no further action was taken. Unfortunately, because the police had taken so long, this person had damaged my reputation. <coughs> As you know, babes, they also told you if you stay with me, you're yep. So this was when the trolling had reached a new level and people started calling me and online hate spreads fast. Someone even went as far as the fake court documents to make the allegations more credible. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Oh! Around this time, I had about 20,000 followers. <coughs> then I started having issues with a guy who started out by trolling me, then stalking and harassing me. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. So you showed strength and determination to carry on regardless of what people were calling you. That's admirable. I don't think I could have done that. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. So this man you're referring to, he's currently been harassing you for what, nearly two years now? Tell us the sort of things that he does to you. He tries to affect me what I'm doing on TikTok, which lost me a lot of support. I understand that not everyone will like me, but this man would message people who support me to tell them I'm a The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! He has proof. Some people would believe him. Some people understand he didn't want to get involved. And those that continue to support me, knowing he is lying, would receive threats. They would have their businesses threatened, families contacted to say they support a offender and the lie detector determined that was a lie oh! and this has been going on for a year every person i jeweled on tiktok he would leave nasty comments in their lives about both us spreading hate to anyone i speak to the lie detector determined that was a lie oh! unfortunately 
not everyone on social media is educated on trolling and would read comments to me not being thoughtful as to why would someone in their lives ask me a question. There is hundreds of people not just me making comments. Every time, every live. Sometimes I do tell people on TikTok about how serious the trolling is, but they still want to find it funny. I guess this reflects on their personalities and hopefully will educate themselves sooner rather than later. Creepy little bastard. <laughs> this is all instigated by a man stalking me. Seriously, are you saying all your trolling is because of me and nothing or nobody else? And obviously others will jump on to join him. People who do support me are scared to, to comment or show support. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Due to the lengths he will go, to, go as he has done with. Other women, including some of my old moderators. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Tell the whole truth, Nitty, is I have some of your ex mods on speed dial. They can tell of me contacting them and how you treated them. He makes nasty videos and is just in my life 24-7 without fail. <coughs> and that shows a very unhealthy obsession. But isn't it you and Tuna forever coming into my account? Reporting it until you get a hit. Sometimes for hours on end. My dad has received numerous messages referring to you in a nasty way and telling my dad I'm a well, if the boot fits. Make him frets. So he wants me off TikTok. He wants us not to be together. And he wants my dad to kick me out. I'm sorry, but that's not that's not trolling. That's scary. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Oh! And yet the police still let it carry on. You've obviously spoken about what he did to you, babe, so I'm not really gonna talk about that. He has contacted my dad's housing association stating all kinds of allegations wrong again. I have only sent clarion videos from your own recording of the trouble you bring to your dad's house. It's your own footage. Again the favourite I'm a p Well if the boot fits And he's he's also pretended to be someone from the housing association. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Oh! Writing to my dad and saying I'm not allowed to do TikTok in the house. He's threatened me many times that I will be in hospital. Didn't he message you saying he was near me and if you don't stop me, we will end up in hospital? Didn't he, babes? Yeah. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Oh! Anytime I stay in a hotel, he will contact them <coughs> to, to say they have a in the hotel. Even reviews left in them when I'm on the beach dancing. Honestly, I can't breathe without him leaving a review saying I'm a p He's clearly unwell and doesn't receive the right support. So, to be honest, at this point, I blame the police for allowing our lives to be destroyed. Then there's the police welfare checks. As those who watch me will have seen, not everyone's families are the same. You abuse your family. I've never called the police on you. Unless it's a threat or action you have done to me. We might swear, we might shout. We are a house of men. That's just how we are sometimes. But he would constantly send police to check on my dad. Yes! You've got a talking ass! Which then inconvenienced him having to go to the door. My dad understands what trolling is and how wrong it is. What they call me, but shouldn't have to be involved. My family have nothing to do with my TikTok, so it makes no sense to target them. To target my mother in her 70s, posting a video of someone over a picture of her face, and then these are the kind of people that are predators. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point 
in your rambling, incoherent response, were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. That many actually find funny, including other TikTok creators. So why these other TikTok TikTokers think it's funny or join in are only showing their kind of people they are. And support and that's why they're the wrong kind of people so that's told us some of what you deal with on a daily basis regarding a stalker who's harassing you but tell us about other things that happen to you by people wanting to gain attention and sometimes even gift money on TikTok people will go live in boxes which basically means a group of people talk to each other in someone's live they will dedicate these lives on talking about me and you obviously they would talk about me being a remember everything they claim to know about me they have gotten from strangers on tiktok no covets come from your own family ex-friends victims of your scams parents of your victims they would talk about where i've been where i am what i'm doing and would always be wrong anyone who would defend us would get violated or blocked this is just a bully groups looking for attention but some people would go further i've had flour and eggs thrown at me whilst i'm out dancing i don't have issues with the public outside in fact they join in they dance they take pictures <laughs> you serious i've had flour thrown at my front door eggs thrown at my kitchen window children sent to my door to give me a message people waiting for me as i come home to try and uh, attack me again this isn't really about hating me it's because it gets them views wrong nitty it's because you have doxxed and exposed their children putting them at risk it's because you have contacted their family it's because you have harassed their place of work making false allegations it's because you have made physical threats and told them to come to you. And they consider me as an easy target because the police won't do anything. So at this point, you've received enough trolling to understand exactly how toxic and dangerous it is. I think we both know it will be some time yet before the government act on this issue. Even MPs who are trolled the most have been calling on government to make changes. And in my opinion, that means better laws and possibly using ID for accounts. With nothing to hide, that wouldn't be a problem. But as well as trolling, you also receive a lot of bullying from other TikTok users who are happy to feed the problem, putting us and our families at risk. What exactly is it that these people who call themselves social media influencers do and why? I just hate to say it all to nothing, I do nothing, life's so call and make y'all it. I just hate to say it all to nothing, I do nothing, life's so call and make y'all it. I just hate to say it all to nothing, I do nothing, life's so call and make y'all it. I just hate to say it all to nothing, I do nothing, life's so call and make y'all it.